From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Diabetes. D is for diabetes. What is diabetes? It is a metabolic disease in which the body's inability to produce any or enough insulin causes elevated levels of glucose in the blood. Diabetes causes digestive problems and erectile dysfunction. It increases risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. It also causes more than 60% of non-traumatic lower limb amputation. It is the seventh leading cause of death in the United States. Let's learn the symptoms of diabetes. Common symptoms of diabetes include frequent urination and disproportionate thirst, intense hunger, unusual weight loss, increased fatigue, irritability, blurred vision. Cuts and bruises don't heal properly or quickly. More skin and yeast infections, itchy skin, gums are red and swollen, gums pull away from teeth, frequent gum disease or infection, sexual dysfunction among men over 50 years of age, numbness or tingling, especially near feet and hands. What are the risk factors of diabetes? Okay, let's know. Here are factors that you can't control, like age, 45 or older, family, a parent, sister or brother with diabetes, ethnicity, African American, Alaska Native, Native American, Asian American, Hispanic or Pacific Islander American. Some things are related to your health and medical history, like pre-diabetes, heart and blood vessel disease, low HDL cholesterol, high triglycerides, having a history of cardiovascular disease, obesity, having a baby that weighed more than 9 pounds, having gestational diabetes during pregnancy, acanthosis nigricans, a skin condition with dark rashes around your neck or armpit, depression, being physically inactive, having high blood pressure even under treatment, having polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS having impaired fasting glucose, IFG, or impaired glucose tolerance, IGT, on previous testing. Diagnosing diabetes and learn about prediabetes. There are several ways to diagnose diabetes. Let's know about the tests. A1C. The A1C test measures your average blood glucose for the past two to three months, so no need for fasting. A1C less than 5.7% is normal. A1C 5.7% to 6.4% means pre-diabetes, and A1C 6.5% or higher means you have diabetes. Fasting Plasma Glucose or FPG. This test checks your fasting blood glucose levels. This test is usually done first thing in the morning before breakfast. FPG less than 100 mg per deciliter is normal, but 100 to 125 means pre-diabetes. 126 or higher means diabetes. Oral Glucose Tolerance Test OGTT. The OGTT is a two-hour test that checks your blood glucose levels before and two hours after you drink a special sweet drink. It tells the doctor how your body processes glucose. OGTT less than 140 mg per deciliter is normal. OGTT 140 to 199 means prediabetes and 200 mg or higher means diabetes. Random Plasma Glucose Test This test is a blood check at any time of the day when you have severe diabetes symptoms. Diabetes is diagnosed at blood glucose of greater than or equal to 200 mg per deciliter. Treatments for Diabetes for a type 1 patient, pancreas no longer makes the insulin. Your body needs to use blood sugar for energy, so you'll need insulin in the form of injection or through use of continuous pump. Learning to give injections to yourself or to others is actually easy. Some people with diabetes use a computerized pump called an insulin pump. You and your doctor program the pump to deliver a certain amount of insulin throughout the day. Insulin comes in four types. Rapid acting, effect within a few minutes and lasts two to four Four hours regular or short acting effect within 30 minutes and last three to six hours intermediate acting effect in two to four hours and lasting up to 18 hours long acting effect in six to ten hours and last beyond 24 hours ultra long acting effect in 30 to 90 minutes last 42 hours a rapid acting inhaled insulin afrata is also FDA approved for use before a meal. It must be used in combination with long acting insulin in patients with type 1 diabetes and should not be used by smokers or people with chronic lung disease. Degladec. 
brand Tresiva is an especially long-acting insulin. It is also available in combination with rapid-acting insulin, Rizodec. Each treatment plan is tailored for different persons according to their conditions. Change in blood sugar level means your body needs change in insulin dosage. A glucometer measures glucose levels in a sample of your blood dabbed on a strip of treated paper. Also, there are devices called Continuous Glucose Monitoring Systems CGMS, but a traditional glucometer is more accurate. Drugs for insulin production by the pancreas, like chlorpropamide brand diabetes. Drugs that decrease sugar absorption by the intestines, such as Acarbose brand name Precos. Drugs that improve how the body uses insulin, such as Pioglitazone brand Egg Toss. Drugs that decrease sugar production by the liver and improve insulin resistance, like Metformin brand Glucophage. Drugs that increase insulin production by the pancreas or reduce sugar production from the liver, including Albiglutide brand Tansium. Drugs that block the reabsorption of glucose by the kidney and increase glucose excretion in urine, called as GLT2 inhibitors, like Tanaglyphlosin brand Invocana. Pramlintide brand Simlin is an injectable synthetic hormone. It helps lower blood sugar after meals in people with diabetes who use insulin. Some pills contain more than one type of diabetes medication. They include the recently approved empagliflozin or linagliptine. Nutrition and meal timing for diabetes. A healthy balance of carbohydrate, protein, and fat in your diet will help keep your blood glucose on target. How much of each will depend on many factors, including your weight and your personal preferences. If you're overweight, either a low-carbohydrate, low-fat, or low-calorie or Mediterranean diet may help you get your weight to go. Only 7% of your diet should come from saturated fat and try to avoid trans fats altogether. Exercise Exercise is crucial in the treatment program for diabetes. All diabetics must check with doctor before starting an exercise program. Exercise improves your body's use of insulin. Your blood sugar may fall to dangerously low levels, so check your blood sugar and if necessary, eat a carbohydrate snack about half an hour before exercise. Also, stop exercising if it is too low. Go ahead and have another snack again. Exercise can lower the chance of heart attack or stroke and improves circulation for diabetes. Change in lifestyle. You can wear a medic alert bracelet or tag that says you have diabetes. This will make others aware of your condition in case you have a severe hypoglycemic attack and others don't understand it. Or if you were in an accident and need emergency medical care. For wrong treatment, hypoglycemia can result in a coma or seizure. Take good care of your teeth and floss regularly. Diabetes can worsen gum disease. Alternative medicine for diabetes, vitamins and minerals. Alternative medicine should never be used alone to treat diabetes. Studies have suggested that biotin, also called vitamin H, when used with chromium may improve glucose metabolism in people with diabetes. Biotin alone is not helpful. Vitamin B6 and B12 may help treat diabetic nerve pain. Vitamin C may make up for low blood levels of insulin, help maintain cholesterol levels and keep blood sugar levels under control. But too much can cause kidney stones and other problems. Vitamin E may help limit damage to the blood vessels and help protect against kidney and eye disease. But too much can lead to serious problems. Some people with diabetes have a serious magnesium deficiency. Magnesium help control blood sugar levels. Mental and physical medicine, guided imagery, biofeedback, meditation, hypnotherapy, and yoga reduce stress hormones that help stabilize blood sugar levels. Herbal remedies, capsaicin cream, a topical ointment made with cayenne, has been reported by some patients to help lower pain in the hands and feet from diabetic neuropathy. Evening primrose oil is thought to help diabetic nerve pain. Ginkgo, garlic, Holly basil leaves, fenugreek seeds, ginseng and hawthorn are other herbals that have been promoted by some as remedies for diabetic symptoms. More research is needed to know if they really work. Check with your doctor before trying any herbal product. Thanks for watching. This is your host Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.